Mike E.T. We'll see you on your stands now. I'm starting to see why you're so interested in Shea Fleming. Yeah, that's the green. I guessed it. We just had to go through a custom first. You kind of look like Shay, don't you? Shay has seen the true face of the world. And he has chosen his path accordingly. A similar choice will soon present itself to you. Okay. You're in decline, just saying. I did not think you'd get this far. But you seem to be on the right track. We still can't access the servers in the basement, but there's another one located at the top of the building near Melanie's office. That's your next stop. All right. I guess you didn't know um, Obstacle's Templar all the way through. Let's get out of here. The CCO room. Very interesting choice on where they put their fish tanks. Could you stop by my office to have a talk? All right. Oh yes, you came in many times in Assassin's Creed 4. Alright, what do you need? This office used to belong to a man named Olivier Garnier. He was my predecessor as Chief Creative Officer of Abstergo Entertainment. Otto Berg is a representative from our parent company, Abstergo Industries. He's showing me the true history of the world, just like they showed me. Olivier is kind, he's intelligent and passionate about our work. But a year ago, he caught a glimpse of this truth. They never found his body. Oh. This is not the way we normally bring people up to speed on these matters, but you've worked hard and are proving yourself, so... I'm granting you level two security access. The servers on this floor should unlock more of Shay's memories. All right. Oh, by the way, your character is presumably Assassin. I guess if uh, minor uh, a spoiler to Assassin's Creed Four, if you haven't watched that or haven't played that. Uh, I do have a playlist of Assassin's Creed 4. Or I played it on the Wii U for your perusing, if you so decide, if you want to check it out before I spoil it for you right now. But anyway, so, um, the Assassins came to this guy here, the player character, um, in Assassin's Creed 4, and basically they... Don't lose your momentum, numbskull. Get to the next server. I'm doing that. Uh, I'm also discussing why this guy's Assassin one, by the way. Oh, wait, did I say that to you? Oh, my bad, my bad. I didn't say Assassin, I mean Templar, yes, yes, yes. Uh, like I was saying, um... Uh, yeah, your guy is the assassin because he, I mean, yeah, he basically uh, found himself working. He found himself working for the assassins, uh, the ones, the assassins that Desmond worked with back in Assassin's Creed Three and Two, and the two trilogy and one, and um, yeah. But now they want him to be Templar, apparently. Oh, fantastic! All right, what do we have here? We gotta play this every single time. But I also remember every single time I'm do I play Menacingly. Okay, don't do that. Don't do that. That's, that's not a good thing. To oh, it worked. Okay. Well, that worked. I thought going to raid would be a bad idea. Francois Macandal saved Baptiste from slavery and inducted him into his so-called brotherhood. Macandal was a vicious mentor, and in his desperate attempt to liberate slaves, he broke his own creed by indiscriminately killing nobles. Misguided as they are, some assassins are honorable. Macandal was not among them. Thanks to the calculating genius of Madeleine de Vinny, the Templars made an example of Macandal by way of public execution in 1758. His pathetic excuse for a brotherhood quickly fell apart. 
When his comrade and childhood friend Agate fled to Louisiana, Baptiste saw the futility of his former life in Macandau's Brotherhood. Magdalena saw Baptiste's potential and instructed her Templars in New Orleans to strike a deal with him. If we could draw Agate out of hiding and eliminate him, he would be granted a place in the Templar okay. Order. Although Baptiste was killed by the assassin Abelin de Compré, this path clearly demonstrates the inherent superiority of Templar ideals over assassin attempts. Ah, that was uh, probably a certain screen liberation, if I know correctly. Uh, Eveler was that game's assassin. That's pretty interesting. You were from Assassin's Creed 1, if I'm correct. Yeah, probably. Alright. Alright, I'm ready to turn to it. I'm following Daryl. Let's hope it takes me to the right place. A, yes, A brings it to the map. Alright. We next floor. We next research floor. Alrighty. We ready and ready to dig them on. Nice outfits, by the way. Let's get security guards, but they're not so bad either. Oh, right here. Oh, look, Far Cry 3. As a Ubisoft game, they're allowed to show that. A book on Assassin's Creed. A bunch of books on Assassin's Creed. Oh, look, uh, Spring of Conviction, Assassin's Creed 3, Assassin's Creed Liberation. That's, uh, I was looking for Assassin's Creed Liberation so I can show you, uh, Elvina right there. If I'm saying her name correctly, but anyway, so let's continue. Crossbow. Probably significant to the, to the Assassin's Creed game somehow. A worthy cause. Shit. What's happening? Another glitch? Same one as before. Shave back and knock it down. See if you can complete the memory this time. Alright. I got five more minutes. Let's do this. Come on, give me the control. Got it. Shave in Paris, alright. I even got a date for you. 1776. At this point in time, Franklin was the American ambassador to France. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Otto Berg, professional killer and amateur historian. Nah, I'm just going to just kill everybody that I usually do. Give them Franklin. Don't worry, Ben, I'm coming. I just gotta figure out where you are. If only the enemies had the bigger draw distance, I swear. Okay, that's off limits. Can be more obvious, can't you? Must be one of these alleys. Or on a roof, but I lead out that. Or in here. Oh no, I got the Unity Syndrome. Where 
crazy. I'm looking everywhere. Oh, we got tar we got contacts. Oh, this is a problem. This is a serious problem. I see what you're talking about. What equipment do I have? Death pistols. There's only one guy with gun, which means what? What you gonna do? What you gonna do when I shoot your buddies? No, no, no. We're going to use our fists here. Yeah, perfect. Oh, in the face. Perfect. Perfect. There are no. I mean, that uh, chase. What do I get an idea? Denied. Your face, your face, and your face, and your face some more, and your face. I penetrated your face. I got balls. Go back, please. All right, Ben, you're all right. Shay? Is that you? Yep. Ah, how long has it been? Uh, where are my manners? Thank you, my friend. Thank you. But what are you doing in Paris? With all due respect, sir, this is no time to talk. You're still in danger. Yes, I... I must return to my family. All right. I think... I, okay, I don't think I would need to be able to use Eagle Vision to look out for guys in yellow suits. When you're like... Like this guy! I don't know how you're doing! God, let them, let's do... You assassinate him too, you jerk! Why did you all flip your head in blur, you son of a hacker? I don't need no sick and angle version to see this. No, whenever it says use eagle version, never do. Attack! Suck on this! Oh, you're one of them, eh? But you're not good enough for my counters! Ha ha! Ho ho! In your face! Oh, I must hurt. I must uh, take some uh, motion for that neck pain. There you go. Thank you, Shay. Please wait for me. I just want to make sure my family is safe. All right. Oh, this will be wrong. Oh, I'm waiting for them to attack. Oh, well, that's time. Anyone else wants to party with me? Anyone else? Sure, let's find and get him. I see you! Oh, I'm going back. Shay, what did I tell you about the hidden blades? It works with Arno now. Yeah, maybe you should equip the... There we go. I got me, it's kind of hard to tell. Oh, we're out of range. Well, I got one, so that's fine. If they're gonna come, they're gonna come. I don't care how many they are, they're not bringing me down with my fists. And if my pistol's up in EB. Oh, let's reload. No one can totally look at a tag button. Hey. Okay, let's get back there now. Let's prepare to get the, get the unarmed equipped. All right. Everyone is safe. Oh, uh, me like this guy? Oh. There's more of them. Oh, I know you don't. No, you don't. No, you're one shot. Good. You want to real say? Indonesia. 
I think it's better. It's like a peanut gallery. Oh, what are these ladies? Attack! Charge! Oh! Looks like you were smart. You were wrong. All right. How? How did you do that? It was quite fortunate. I make my own look, Master Franklin, as I suspect you do. Yes, indeed, my good fellow. Yet, without your assistance today... Well, you have my thanks, Shay. Is there anything I can do for you to repay you for this uh, kindness? Actually, there is. I need to meet a business acquaintance. I heard he would be at the Chateau de Versailles two days from now. And they don't just let anyone inside the royal palace. Very well. I'll see what can be arranged. That's all I can ask for. But, uh, I, yeah, I should have suspected they were on the rooftops. There were snipers on the roofs. Oh, well. I like that memory. But that was, supposed, it was more fun getting them as they popped up than it was going hunt, going hunting them down. That's the best we can do for now. Keep trying to keep those memories out of order, which is why we're crashing like this. What do you suggest? If we progress further with Shay's life in the colony, I'm confident we can get better results from these character sheets. Very well. Keep me informed. Uploaded the next memo she takes out. All right. Shay Cormac, I hear you are the Templar's new don of precursor archaeology. I'm no expert, sir. I just witnessed what the assassins can do with those damn sites. I have spent years investigating precursor leaves. Tell me what you've seen. Well, I know both the assassins and Templars are looking for pieces of Eden. Powerful weapons, mind control and apples, but this time it's different. We haven't found an apple, but... Tree. Hmm. These temples hold the earth together like roots. Disturb them, and Haiti falls, or Lisbon, or any other place the manuscript shows. And the assassins are blindly interfering with these structures. Aye. And if we don't stop them, they'll continue destroying cities. I see. We have intelligence of assassin activity near Hugelberg Fortress. We'll be meeting with a Royal Navy officer, James Cook. He recently gained a commission that could be strategically valuable. Gist has the charts. Very well. I'll depart shortly. Colonel Monroe spoke highly of you, Shay. He was convinced you could become the best among us. I expect you will not disappoint. I don't plan to, sir. Nice for like the guy's outfit. All right. Well, Jay did have good reasons for leaving the assassins, but the Templars are way worse than that. The sorry, the North American. The assassins are jerks, and they mess around with stuff that they shouldn't be messing around with quite yet. They should research it more, but still... Uh, the Templars are worse. Alright, North... Yes. Do you know why the Grand Master is so interested in Captain Cook? Well, sir, he's very intelligent and ambitious. His knowledge of seamanship is second to none. And if I trust my favorite barmaid in Halifax, he also just became captain of his own man of war. Oh. He's also an expert at deciphering secret codes. A man with such a skill is certainly an asset to our cause. The kind of fellow we should welcome in the order, then. Well, he's a friend of mine, but the man has an annoying habit of strict honesty and a total lack of anything resembling guile. Makes it a little hard to keep secret business secret, especially when his mathematical brain is clever at cracking codes. Consider him an ally. But watch what you say around him. Duly noted. Alright, I think uh, John Cook is actually a pretty important character. If the Royal Navy can take 
that boat. It'll be clear sailing down the St. Lawrence. Then on to Quebec and Montreal. The tide is turning. General Wolfe will give that craven Montcalm a right thrashing. I've been looking forward to that since Fort William Henry. With this bloody war over, we'll finally bring order to this damned continent. I fear it would take more than that, friend. It takes a strong constitution to survive out here. Masks or whiskey. Yeah, like I was saying, I think uh, John Cook was a very important person back in uh, back in history. I just don't. I I heard his name before, and I and I think he's he was important, but I just know nothing about him. So I shall find out because Assassin's Creed is is historical fiction to be sure, but it is historically accurate as you possibly can as as possibly as you possibly want. Well, it's more historically accurate than the War Two Call of Duty games, that's for sure. Fuck on this! Uh oh! Did I just go up against a very. Uh oh. Um. I thought that was a smaller ship. My bad. My bad. Alright, let's get moving. I was going to wrap up the session here, but that. Uh, yeah. Now, uh, did you see how little our main guns did to that ship? It only took off two health points. Or two, uh. I only took off two, um, two slivers, two slivers of its health. Oh, 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 watch out for that. Nice. There. Right, I think we're safe here. All right. So anyway, so thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys guys watching uh, these videos. It really means to me. Well, it's been awesome if you to leave a comment. Thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions for the series, like, um, I guess what weapons they should use or any tips on how to play a certain Creek Rogue in general. If you have any tips, send me nice in the comments for people to do the notes. Yeah. And I guess, see you all in a second.